At Howley's Diner on South Dixie Highway, car hops wearing masks and gloves are taking orders from people waiting outside in their vehicles. How are you guys today? When the bags of food are delivered, no money will be changing hands because this is part of an effort spearheaded by Howley's owner Rodney Mayo to help feed restaurant and hotel workers laid off during the COVID-19 pandemic. That includes 650 employees who work at his 17 area restaurants. Just to sit in a room and have to let 650 people go and then hear about their families of four and five children at home, it just, I, I just couldn't handle it. So Rodney decided to find a way to at least feed those who've been laid off and their families, whether they worked for him or not. He and his friends started the nonprofit Hospitality Helping Hands to collect cash donations and arrange for closed down restaurants to donate their perishable food. He hired a small kitchen staff to prepare the meals and encouraged laid off hospitality workers to volunteer to pack them up and deliver them to waiting cars. All right, I'll get you in five meals out, okay? It should just be a couple minutes, all right? They'd also received a $12,000 grant from the city of West Palm Beach. But with no end in sight to the COVID-19 crisis, Rodney tearfully appealed to the city commission for more. I was bombarded with questions of what do we do? Where do we go? Where do we find money? His appeal worked. The city commission is also going to get a resolution uh, brought before them uh, in a, an emergency meeting next week to provide an additional $50,000 in assistance. The money will be used to pay for hot meals like these, which vary daily. They're a big help to many, like bartender April Bello, who was laid off last week along with her husband, leaving them struggling to pay their bills and feed their two kids. It's gut-wrenching, you know, because you do everything, you know, some people work paycheck to paycheck, you know, or day to day when you make tips as a bartender. So to have no food in your home, is just, it's, it's scary. It could be weeks or even months until April and other hospitality employees go back to work. Even with a bare bones operation and city grants, it won't be easy to keep this up. So Rodney is asking for the public's help. To find out how to donate, volunteer, or pick up a free meal, visit hospitalityhelpinghands.org. This is Cheryl Kahn reporting for WPB-TV.